Well, we've got a cool treat to warm you up this holiday season and beyond. Now, these may look like delectable candies, but they are actually hot cocoa bombs. Yeah, these are very cool. They've become wildly popular during the winter months. So what goes into creating them? Our April Morden has brought in a couple of expert bakers to find out. April? This is guaranteed to sweeten up the holiday season and is fun for the entire family. Hot Cocoa Bombs comes in many flavors ranging from peppermint to white chocolate to dark chocolate. And here to show us how they're made are um, Christine Britsy, mm -hmm. as well as Alana Finley from Cake and Bitten. Thank you so much, ladies, for being here today. Thank you for having us. All right, so Christine, first off, how did you get started in the baking industry? I got my culinary degree from the Art Institute of Michigan. Um, from then, I started baking from home while I was a stay-at-home mom. Okay. Within a few years, I built up a clientele and just decided to take the plunge and open up a bake shop. Love it, love it. Everything here looks delicious. Thank you. So tell me exactly what are hot cocoa bombs and what ingredients go into making these? They're just a fun way to make hot chocolate with your family, mm -hmm. especially children. Um, you start by melting the chocolate wafers and you make the exterior shell. Okay. And then you fill it with your favorite hot cocoa mix and whatever toppings you'd like, marshmallows, sprinkles, whatever sounds good to you. This, this looks like so much fun. And so <laughs> how long does it take to make this and can anyone do it? Anyone can do it. Children love to do it. Okay. Um, it takes about 20 minutes from start to finish. That includes melting the chocolate, making the shells, filling them and then decorating them however you'd like. Awesome, can you show us how it's done? Yeah, of course. All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna decorate some already assembled mm -hmm. cocoa bombs, and you can pick whatever topping you'd like. Okay. So we melt our chocolate down and we put them in a bag. And then we just cut a small little tip on the bag. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I will pass this to you, and it is dripping. All right, Ooh, and this then, is nice and warm. Yeah. And then you can just drizzle back and forth. And the with milk chocolate, white chocolate, and candy coating, mm -hmm. it does typically dry pretty fast. So you want to get your toppings on as quick as you can. I'm going to get a little more creative with this one. Let's there see. There you go. Let's go across like that. And you can have so much fun with this. This is something great to do with your kids at home. You can make snowmen with the white chocolate. You can make mm -hmm. reindeer. You can really have a ball with this. And it's a really great activity to do. It's good, and then you can that sprinkle peppermint also. on top. Oh, I do want peppermint. I love peppermint. I love peppermint crunch. Some I'm hoping this kind of looks like a little Christmas star. Yep, and then there's even some dehydrated marshmallows here, so you can Ooh. sprinkle those. I like the big marshmallows. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's go all out here. The bigger the better, right? Yeah. Perfect. You're so an expert. What, what's inside of this ball? So inside of it, you use two tablespoons of mix of any flavor you'd like. Mm -hmm. If you use packets, typically you can get away with splitting the packet in half and you can get two cocoa bombs filled with one packet of mix. Okay. Um, but if you were to measure it out of a tub, it would be two tablespoons. Um, and then you can stuff the inside with the softer marshmallows. So when you break the shell with the uh, steamed milk on top, it kind of makes that bomb effect and it expands and explodes in your cup. Okay, can we see how that's done? Of course. <laughs> All right, so this is hot milk and you're gonna, yep. that we're pouring, okay. So we're just gonna take the hot cocoa bomb. Yeah. You wanna do one of yours? Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, this is, I, I, I wanna lick my fingers, but I'm not gonna do that on here. <laughs> okay. You set it right So just in put it there. in here. Yep, Let's toss drop. it in. All right. And then we're gonna pour the steamed milk on top. And then you'll slowly see how it melts the chocolate down. Uh huh. And then. And then hopefully it breaks open. <laughs> yep, it breaks open. <laughs> but it's all know. about making sure. Oh, <laughs> yep. okay, I and see then... it. I see it opening there. Look at there. Yep. So it's all then about the milk. Taste... You want to make sure it's nice and warm. You right? want the milk nice and warm. And then you can okay. just stir and you see all the marshmallows mm, and the mix that we're that. in. Look at all that goodness. Yep. And it's way better than just the mix because you get the real milk chocolate wafers and oh, marshmallows so. and all the toppings to More go with peppermint it. peppermint for mine. There you go. <laughs> so tell me what else you have to offer here. Okay, so at the bake shop, we specialize in custom orders for cakes and cookies. Okay. If you walk in, you'll have the cocoa bombs on hand. We do custom sugar cookies here. 
We do chocolate suckers, um, chocolate covered pretzels, and we typically have about 10 flavors of cupcakes on hand every day, okay. as well as 10 to 12 cookie flavors every day as well. This all looks so delicious. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us all, how can we learn more about the cake mitten? Cake Mitten is located at 18 in Garfield. We do have a website, cakemitten.com, and you can also follow us on social media. We have Instagram and Facebook. Awesome, awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to try out my hot cocoa here <laughs> and get my hands nice and clean. There you go. <laughs> Got some for you, Tati and, and Michelle. <laughs>